All right, in this lesson, we are going to be discussing or helping you learn and understand the expanded accounting equation. So in the prior lessons, we talked about this basic accounting equation, and that's great and all. You'll need to know that in this course, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. However, there is a better equation that we can use that's gonna help us solve for transactions. So this is kind of the first basic, uh, what I would like to think of as a code that we can use to actually do transactions later on. So it's kind of like a key at the end of the day. So a code or a key in which if we know the code or the key, then we can actually apply the key to every transaction and it'll help us actually solve journal entries at the end of the day, which is what this course is all about uh, when we think about it at the granular level. And so that's what we're gonna help you learn in this lesson. So let's take a look and a reminder that in section one, we learned two equations. The first equation that we learned was the basic accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus shareholders equity. That was our basic accounting equation. There was also another equation that we learned in section one that you might not necessarily remember, but the other equation is the equity equation. So stockholders equity is equal to owner's capital, so that's owner's contribution into the organization, what we as the owners put into the organization financially or asset-wise to get the company going minus dividends. So if I take a dividend out of the organization, I'm basically getting my money back. So it's not at risk for any um, losses that might occur if the company uses that money. So owner's capital, so we add owner's capital to stockholders equity, we subtract dividends because it's no longer in the company's hands, it's now in my personal hands. We're gonna add revenue and we're gonna subtract expenses. That would be net income revenues minus expenses. So that is the equity equation. Now, I don't know about you, but if you remember grade school, we started to learn these um, situations in which we can take two equations and smush them into one. And instead of having two separate equations, we could have one. And the way that we do that is we find a like uh, terms or like keys or like uh, variables. Well, in this case, if you look at these two equations, we actually have a like variable here. We have the stockholders equity. So stockholders equity are in both equations. So if you remember anything from algebra, uh, we can actually combine these two equations. How do we do that? Well, we can start with the assets equals liabilities, right? And then instead of adding stockholders equity, we can actually just take stockholders equity equation and dump that into where stockholders equity would have been. Now, luckily we're just worrying about pluses and minuses and we don't have any multiplication or division. So it's just simply easy. We just copy and paste. So I'm just gonna copy the owner's capital minus dividends plus revenue minus expenses right into where stockholders equity is. And so this would be our expanded equation. And this is the expanded equation that you need to know as we start to build this key that's gonna help you learn how to do journal entries. Now, if you are like me, I look at this equation and I go, great, it's a great long equation, but my problem with this is that there are minus signs. So I don't necessarily like minus signs. So if you remember, what could we do from algebra to make it so that we don't have any minus signs? Well, we can do something like this. We could move it from the right side to the left side. If we do that, we could actually rearrange it so that we would get something like this. Now, if you're going, well, how did I do that? Well, let's just show you here. We can add dividends on this side, which means that we would add dividends on that side. And then we would add expenses and we would add expenses on this side. And so we would get dividends plus expenses plus assets equals liabilities plus owner's capital plus revenue. So we have no more minus signs. 
and that would be the equation that I would like you to remember or know. There's a difference between remembering and know. Remembering is a short-term thing. Knowing it is a long-term thing. You want to know it. So we're going to know that we have dividends, expenses, assets, equals liabilities plus owner's capital plus revenue. Now, if you're like me, I don't really remember or know anything. So I need something to help me understand or help me remember and then know this in the long term, especially if you're gonna go through this entire course. So if we just take the first letter of each one of these, we're gonna get something that spells out dealer. So the great, the best way to memorize or know the expanded accounting equation is just spelled dealer. D-E-A-L-O-R. And that stands for dividends, expenses, assets equals liabilities, owners, capital plus revenue. So that is the expanded accounting equation. That is the equation that you should know going forward. Um, but also keep in the back of your mind that we also have the basic accounting equation, assets equals liabilities, owners equity or stockholders equity, uh, because that might come up as well. Not a lot of people, um, will use the expanded equation. I don't know why, but it's just, they don't use it a lot. They like to use assets equals liabilities plus stockholders equity. And if that's the case, that's fine. You just need to know that you can convert that to this dealer. And that's gonna be more useful when we talk about journal entries. So both equations are useful in accounting world. However, when it comes to transaction analysis, the expanded accounting equation is a better equation for debits and credits, which I'll show you later on. So hope you enjoyed this lesson on the expanded accounting equation. I can't emphasize enough how important this equation is, especially if you're learning how to do journal entries um, for the first time. If you understand how to do journal entries, uh, if you understand this, you'll understand how to do journal entries. If you understand how to do journal entries, for the most part, you'll be fine for the rest of the course uh, because a lot of the problems that you'll see will be predicated on how do you journalize this transaction? And if you don't know how to journalize, then you're already gonna fail at that one component. So knowing how to journalize is kind of the most important thing that we're gonna teach you here. And this is kind of that first step to learning how to journalize. So dealer, D-E-A-L-O-R, dividends plus expenses plus assets equals liabilities plus owner's contribution plus expenses D E A, sorry, D E A L O R. So plus revenues, not expenses, um, is your expanded accounting equation. So hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, it's Patrick. Uh, before you skip ahead to the next section, just wanted to come on here and tell you to not forget to like this video and uh, maybe share this video with someone that you know that would get a lot out of this lesson. Maybe a classmate that you know. Um, this would be a great way to introduce them to this channel. So share this video with them, maybe your mom or your dad someone um, so that they know that you're really learning accounting topics here on YouTube and you're not just playing cat videos over and over again. Now, if you wanna help us grow this channel, what would be great is if you press the subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell if you wanna get alerted the next time we upload a video to this channel. And um, put in the comment section below, what did you eat last night? It would be so weird for people to come and look at the comments, but what did you eat last night? I might throw in a comment after you if you put that in the comment section below. So do that now. What, what did you eat last night? All right, so enough of the fun stuff. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in the next video.